Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. This is my review of Rambo, The Last Blood. Well, you know what? I was born in the 70s, so, you know, I grew up watching Sylvester Stallone. And this indeed, in fact, was uh, the closing chapter of the Rambo series. And uh, I felt like I was there from the beginning, so I might as well be here for the end. So besides, I didn't have nothing to do. So, you know, um, I just decided to watch this movie. You know, like I said, I grew up on Sylvester Stallone, you know, the Rocky movies, you know, Cobra, Nighthawks, you know, the, the specialists. So, you know, I'm very familiar with Sylvester Stallone, you know, where he had his had his good movies. Then he had movies like Oscar and Stop or My Mother or Shoot and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, then he bounced back with the Expendables, except for the for the third one but you know I, it's been a long ride with me and Sylvester Stallone so basically the premise of this movie is you know after you know John Rambo finally retires from the military he comes home and he decides to basically raise his 17 year old niece you know alongside I guess with a uh, with a nanny and basically to make a long story short his his niece is half Mexican and she goes to Mexico to see her father, who basically abandoned her when she was like maybe nine or ten. Basically, her mother died. So basically, it's just her and, uh, you know, John Rambo. So to make a long story short, while she's in Mexico, her so-called friend takes her to a club, basically sells her out. She's drugged and then she's kidnapped and basically... Uh, you know, basically forced to become a prostitute. So to make a long story short, after she doesn't come home, Rambo finds out she snuck to Mexico after he told her not to. So basically he goes to Mexico and he tries to, you know, bring her back. You know, he makes an attempt to bring her back, uh, falls short, something happens. And then basically the people that's responsible for you know uh kidnapping her basically rambo just basically goes on a massive super massive and extremely violent <laughs> killing spree <laughs> and basically basically to make a long story short is just after like the after like the first 45 minutes basically like because this movie isn't very long this movie only has a running time basically uh maybe um maybe an hour and maybe an hour and 40 minutes at best basically the last 40 minutes is just carnage <laughs> i mean carnage when i say carnage i'm talking about the last i'm talking about the last like 40 minutes is just carnage but to make a long story short rambo doesn't disappoint he he becomes rambo not john rambo but rambo so you know really to be honest with you guys you can skip the first 20 minutes this isn't a movie you have to see like from beginning to end you could skip like the first 20 minutes of the movie really you'll be fine but don't miss the last, like, the last, like, 40 minutes of the movie. But out of a, I say out of a scale of 1 to 10, I, I give it, I give it a 7. But anyway, this is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.